so one thing we like about the WePad is that it, it goes from goes into standby and wakes up very quickly. Uh, Stefan, you're saying one second. Right. So we go into standby now. And it's done, you can see here. It's a breathing LED. And I'm pushing it on again. Uh, there we go again. So it's nearly instant on. That's very useful for a tablet device, something that's going to live on the coffee table or in your backpack. And even if it's powered off, the boot up time is not what we see with Windows tablets, correct? Right, it's, it's 16 seconds, and um, this 16 seconds is not for just seeing the desktop, it's your online after 16 seconds. Uh, can, we see, can we see that demo? Of course. We have 16 seconds for that. So we're going to shut it down. What kind of battery life uh, are you expecting? We are expecting like five to six hours, but it's probably, um, no, it's down. Um, so no, no breathing light there, it's completely off right now. Right, it's completely off. Um, what you see is you get a red LED if, it's, if the power is low. I'm now putting on. You see the blue lights coming up. We're in BIOS, takes about five to six seconds. Going to operating system. Blam and bam. One, two. And it's functional right now. Bam. So that's a WePad available in Germany next week and uh, hopefully sometime soon in, here in the U.S.